What's up everyone? Yeah, so this year I'm going to start my training at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts in September in about a month. I ju I'm just here to, you know, give you a little bit of knowledge that I might have. Types of knowledge. I just have a couple of thoughts off the domes with Christian. I think people, you know, sometimes feel the need to over rehearse their monologues or over practice them. Um, obviously, I think it's really up to the person on how often they should be visiting these pieces, but I think you shouldn't be rehearsing them every day, every moment of every hour, a sort of way that you start getting into a sort of mechanical or like this bad habit of doing the same thing over and over again and having that left hand come up at every time you say this specific word I, I don't think that's necessarily beneficial but i do think it's beneficial visiting these characters and checking in with your body um your mind and, and just the piece itself by reading it over and over again becoming involved in, in the world that you have created and these characters that you have sort of set in the parameters of the monologue <laughs> Yeah, last year I was so focused on, you know, the emotional aspects of my characters that I um, wanted it to be, you know, very, have so much restraint and, and be so abrupt and aggressive. I realized I was very tired and, and just very for doing it so many times and I felt like I was just constantly repeating myself. So I really advise, you know, getting monologues that you really like, that you think you can do this over and over again. And I mean, they can be difficult monologues. Some of my monologues were really difficult. And when I was in the headspace, it was um sort of, not scary, but sort of, you know, a headspace that I wouldn't necessarily want to be on a day to day. I just think it's very important to just be emotionally connected to your monologues and just something that you like and that you are going to be able to constantly work on for X amount of months. <laughs> I think it's really important to be able to fluctuate in these pieces and not have a solid concrete way of doing it in the space of the monologue, in the context of the monologue, obviously. Um, yeah, because, you know, once you get in the audition room, I mean, there's going to be a panel and most likely, most of the time, but they're at least going to work on one or two. So most of the time, they're just looking to be able to sort of push you in different directions. And, and if you're really stuck on a set of beliefs of the way the monologue should go, you're not gonna be able to fully genuine live in the space that they're setting to you. Say you're supposed to be talking on the phone with your grandma in a monologue, and then they're like, oh no, you're petting a rhino at the zoo, and you can't really move towards that. I just think, you know, when people say, let yourself go, I think they just mean, you know, be able to take direction, be able to move freely and, and just have fun. It's so hard because you're so stuck and nervous and just want to do a great job. But I just think it's most important to just be free with the monologues, be free with your pieces and just let them be what they are at that moment. A little segue from that, I think it's important to have confidence on what you're bringing to the table. You know, I think we get so focused on having the best performance on that mall we ever had in the audition room that we kind of sort of forget why we're there and sort of what you bring to the table. You know, once you do your monologues, they're probably just gonna sit you down and have a conversation with you. Just don't take yourself too seriously in these auditions, especially in the interviews. I mean, just have fun, talk to them. I mean, once I opened up and was really just able to talk to them right there in front of me instead of this high and mighty, it became a lot simpler to just connect with them. I think connecting with the audition panel is gonna be super important and beneficial to you when they're deciding on who they want and the next step to the audition process. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today. It was just kind of a stream of conscious, just talking points that I think would be super beneficial for anyone that's watching this. Have a great day and I'll see you around. Bye.